Hi, welcome to trellis diagram session. Here, the trellis diagram is used to represent the straight transition diagram which is using in the hidden Markov model. The trellis diagram is made up of matrix of nodes. Here, this uh, trellis diagram is indicated with different number of states and paths. So, this is the straight transition diagram. Here, the straight transition diagram is having set of states S1, S2, uh, S3 and S4. So, it is denoted with uh, state 00, 10, 01 and 11. Here, the each, uh, each of the nodes represented in the trellis diagram is representing its own, stat own status and also each column. So, the each column is representing the status over the time period 1, time period 0 like that. So, each column is represented over the time period T. And each of the node is having two uh, different inputs, okay, two possible paths. So, here the state 0, 0 is having two paths or the input 1 which is moving to the 1, 0 or the input 0 which is moving to itself, okay. So, here each, each node is having two different paths or the different inputs. So, the same thing is indicated in the state transition diagram. So, if you take this node here which is having the path over the time period 1, this is the path over the time period 0, right. So, this is indicated with the a blue line and red line respectively. The state transition machine starts from the 0, 0 or the input 1 moving to the 1, 0. So, which is indicated here with simple example, the state transition uh, machine is at the time period 0. So, this is the uh, time period 0. So, now transition machine is available at this location. Now, it is moving from state transition uh, state 0, 0 to 1, 0 over the input 1. So, here the over the input 1 which is moving from t equal to 0, I mean moving from 0, 0 to uh, next state over the time period t0. So, here which is indicated with the uh, line 2. So, here over the input 1, over the input 1 is denoted with this line. If it is moving over the input 0, then which is indicated with this red line. So, again it will move to the same state. That is the meaning, right. So, after moving from this 0, 0 to next state over the input 1, so here the, the output of this transition is 1, 1. Output of this transition is indicated with this 1, 1. So, that is indicated here, right. So, what is the next status, next state? Next state is here 1, 0. So, over the input 1, which is moving to the next state 1, 0, right. So, that is the indicated here. So, ne next state is 1, 0. So, this is the path, okay. So, okay, like this, we can uh, uh, represent the state transition diagram uh, into the trellis diagram for easy representation. So, each column is representing entire status of the state transition machine and this kind of uh, representation can be used uh, for Viterbi algorithm and forward algorithm which is used in the HMM model, hidden Markov model for easy representation of the uh, observation set of observations and hidden states which is uh, using the Marco chains or Marco chain in the sense the next state is depending on the uh, only current state okay so when it is moving from current state to next state there is the state transition probabilities so that state transition probabilities can be used to represent the movement and that um, movements can be easily calculated by using the uh, trellis diagram. So, here this node, this node is the uh, having the status this value, okay. Then it is having two different paths. The paths are there. So, over the different inputs, then it will move to uh, any path, okay. It will take the tra transition towards any path. Like that, this node is also having its own status and it will move towards next state, next state over the different inputs based upon the selection. So, here it is used to uh, used to uh, model the HMM uh, for 
for uh, identifying the state sequence maximum likelihood state sequence thanks for watching